Welcome to the tutorial on example scripts and demo folder. In this tutorial, we will learn about GNUplot terminal and the graphics interface, about the demo folder of GNUplot, about example script files, and to load the script file to generate a graph. To record this tutorial, I am using Debian Linux 9.3, GNUplot 5.2.6, GEdit Text Editor 3.22, Firefox Web Browser 52.5, and Working Internet Connection to Access Online Script Files. To follow this tutorial, learner must be familiar with high school level mathematics. At the time of installation, we downloaded and extracted the GNUplot folder. Generally, the folder GNUplot 5.2.6 would be in the downloads folder. If you had saved it elsewhere, then use that location for the next steps. What should you do in case the GNUplot folder is missing on your machine? You have to follow the steps explained in the prerequisite tutorials in this series. Open the file manager. In my machine, this icon is located on the menu bar at the bottom. Click on the file manager icon. Navigate to downloads. GNUplot-5.2.6 and then to Demo folder. Notice the various files in the folder. We will now open a terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously. Type cd space downloads slash gnuplot 5.2.6 slash demo and press enter. We are in the demo directory, which contains the example files. Type ls to list the files in the demo directory. Notice there are several files with .dem extension. They are simple text scripts which are used to generate the plots. Let me clear the screen. Now let's look at the structure of an example script using a text editor. I will use gedit text editor. You can use any other editor of your choice. Type gedit space simple.dem and press enter. Windows users may open the file in notepad. The script file opens in the text editor window. Details about this plot are mentioned in the header. The required data files are also mentioned. This script plots three functions together. Scroll down to view the entire file. This is the structure of a script file. Now close the text editor window. Go to the terminal. Next, let's run this script in GNUplot and generate the plot. In the terminal, type GNUplot and press enter. The prompt changes to GNUplot prompt. To execute a command, in the terminal, press enter after typing it. I will not mention this separately. I will clear the terminal. To load the script, Type load space within single quotes simple dot dem. A graphical window opens. Click on this graphics window to activate it. Three functions sin x, a tan x and cos a tan x are plotted. Using arrow keys, scroll left, right, up and down within the plot. Doing this allows us to scroll further in the access limits. Simple.dem can plot many graphs. 
go through the script file again at this stage. To see the next plot, do the following. Go to the terminal by clicking on it. We can read a message, hit return to continue. Press the enter key to continue. From now on, you have to do this every time to get the next plot. Immediately, the next script and its function gets plotted. Press enter again as shown in the prompt to plot the other functions from the script. Likewise, you can scroll through some more example files in the demo directory. Press Ctrl and C keys in the terminal to come back to the GNU plot prompt. Now I will close this graphical window. I will open a 3D plot example file next. Load the hidden 2.dem file on the terminal. Use the command as shown before to load the script file. A graphics window opens. Go through the three examples of the 3D plots this script can generate. Then close the graphics window. I encourage you to try other example files in this folder. Type Q to exit GNU plot. Many example scripts are available online for GNU plot as well. I will show how to access the example files online in the next step. I will open a web browser. In the web browser, go to the URL as shown here. Notice that there are several examples available for users to learn from. 2D and 3D graphs. Histograms and curve fitting are few capabilities of the software. Under basic 2D plot styles, click on the simple functions link. The left side shows the graphical plots. The simple scripts on the right side generate the plots. Scroll down the page and notice the various styles seen in the plots on the left side. Notice the variations in symbols, color, legends, line style and filling area. Learners may use this page to learn the various commands and options. If we need help at any time, we can go to this URL. Here we can see previously asked questions and the corresponding replies. We can also post our questions and doubts after we register. Now let's summarize. In this tutorial, we learned about GNU plot terminal and the graphics interface, about the demo folder of GNU plot, about example script files, and loaded the script file to generate a graph. For assignment activity, please do the following. Open some more example files of your choice in GNU plot. Observe the graphic output and the variations in plot styles. This video summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Post your timed queries in the forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. This is Rani from IIT Bombay. Thank you for joining.